Welcome back to another episode of the Medium Cool Show. Today, we travel back to the 1930s. First, starting in Chicago, Illinois, and we travel down to Los Angeles, California. Because today, we're talking about a new Hollywood underrated gem, I would say. And that film is The Fortune, starring Jack Nicholson mm -hmm. and Warren Beatty. Never let negative feelings block the path to your goal. Otherwise, you are always sinking back into discouragement. Oh, leave me alone. What I do is I envision my goal. And I put myself into a trance. And then I go to sleep. Oh. This is the technique, which is what I'm using here. To where I have come up with a foolproof plan that we haven't even come up with yet or even thought of. Directed... By the Thanks. one and only Mike, Mike Nichols. Nichols. What, dude? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'd never heard of this movie before. I hadn't either. And I'm mm -hmm. so, you know, I try to be an aficionado about the new Hollywood cinema. Mm -hmm. And I try to know all those movies by Jack Nicholson, Mike Nicholson, mm -hmm. Warren Beattyson, mm -hmm. all those guys. I, I want to know all their, their stuff. And this yeah. one, we just... Stumbled upon on Tubi and we saw the names mm -hmm. and it was just an immediate, oh my God, I yeah. love you. You know, like we, we're we like big fans yeah. of New Hollywood. And people talk a lot about Bonnie and Clyde starting New Hollywood, mm -hmm. where's Warren Beatty. But Mike Nichols and The Graduate, they were right there with him at the beginning. And that, the fact that they're teaming up in this, mm -hmm. Warren Beatty, I feel like Warren Beatty on the 70s, he was on... A track to hit every single director he wanted to work with mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. he had so much control over that and jack nicholson on this huge come up yeah. after easy rider i don't know you can just feel him like becoming more and more of like a powerhouse and he meets warren Beatty in this and then mike nichols gets involved and just, is this after one flew over the cuckoo's nest or before it's the same year Dude. <laughs> the same year that's dude. crazy yeah that's crazy um yeah this is a just a fun movie all yeah. around. I'm glad we watched this. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it was just totally weird. All those guys, Mike Nichols, Jack Nicholson, and Warren Beatty, they're all the staples of New Hollywood. They're yeah. all just making those bangers. They all have a piece of it. Mike Nichols and Warren Beatty were the catalyst that started it. Mm -hmm. But I think Jack Nicholson, Chinatown, yeah. is that you can just argue that that could be the best New Hollywood picture. Yeah, you know he ha he has he has like a stacked hand with those right when it was like in the prime there of all yeah. like those great pictures you know oh my god dude like I said Warren Beatty Mike Nichols started it right yeah, yeah. and then I just like that the f they're teaming up for this you know what yeah. I mean because I feel like they probably wanted to for a while they were just never aligned mm. uh, and then finally like these two powerhouses of New Hollywood especially like 1968 1969 like yeah. Warren Beatty and Mike Nichols were the people everyone was talking about. Like they, they wanted everyone, they wanted Mike Nichols to make a movie for them, or they wanted Warren Beatty to star in their movie. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, he was a movie star for sure. Yeah, he has, dude. Apparently, dude, guess his guess Warren Beatty's body count. Guess, dude. In two thousand ten, when I, he, the, his biography, dude, I don't know guess what his body count is, dude. I want to say, it, it, I read this article today that said John Bon Jovi said he's been with a hundred women. And I was like, damn, that's a really fucking low body count. I feel like it would be, like, way higher if you're yeah. a star. Yeah, right. Warren Beatty, I bet he says, like, 5,000, something like that. 12,000. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's, like, so much time, dude. I know. Like, holy shit. Wait, who's that dude, that one director we were talking about with Jake? Where he's, like... Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher, dude. He's, like... I've had sex with 20,000 people or something like that. Dude, how is that even possible? I don't know, dude. Don't like, know. Wilt Chamberlain yeah. has a, apparently yeah. 20,000 bodies. I mean, I believe it. Like, with Warren Beatty, he's a star, dude. Yeah. He's so charismatic. Wilt Chamberlain, NBA player, you know, like, yeah. traveling and everything. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? But, but anyway, back to the picture... This movie, while it's not a perfect new Hollywood... I think he's lying, too. I think he's fucking lying, oh for sure. God. Yeah. Well, you know, this movie doesn't reach the heights of other new Hollywood pictures with those two guys, but there were some really laugh-out-loud moments that we had in it, and it was just 
seeing them both together bouncing off each other that energy yeah. and they're they're bumbling idiots yeah i think jack nicholson though they both do a great job but jack nicholson just takes it to the next level i think comparatively to warren Beatty. even though warren Beatty's great yeah and he's an idiot but jack nicholson goes full kind of um, like that shining yeah psychotic kind of well, vibe to it here's you know? the thing like i feel like you know warren Beatty is like traditionally he's just he's going to be competitive with anyone that's in a film with him. He's the star. You know what I mean? Bro. Jack Nicholson's not that type of person and ne- necessarily needs to be the star. And I feel like in this movie, Warren Beatty definitely plays the more straight man out of the two. The kind of character that he's not smart, but he definitely is like more competent than Jack Nicholson. But Jack Nicholson outshines him in the role of just playing like a more incompetent person. And it's so funny to watch, dude. Because it's just, yeah. I don't know, I just love Warren Beatty, like, trying to rein him in. Mm. Like, that scene where, they, where they put her in the trunk out in the water, yeah. and then they're driving away, and we just replayed that because we were laughing so hard, where he's like... I just Beatty. love that scene where yeah. they're driving and the, the escalation of it, yeah, and just how long it goes for, and they're just yeah. so, it, it's so funny. I just love it because, like, Warren Beatty's, like, trying to, like, f- figure out a plan for them. He's like, okay, we're, we're going to go back home. We're, we're going to go get your stuff. You're gonna go to the hotel. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go to the hotel. All right, but how about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah. no, no, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna go to the hotel. Yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna write a suicide note. We're gonna we're gonna talk to the police in the morning. Okay, okay, talk to the police. He's like, okay. so we should go back to the beach. <laughs> yeah. He says, you want to go back to the beach? We'll go back to the beach. He's like, no, I don't want to yeah. go back to the beach. He's like, no, turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's so yeah. funny. Yeah, it's just all around like a. It's a fun time. And I just, work. dude, the fucking, honestly, some of those shots he does, the way he directs the movie, Mike Nichols, mm-hmm. where it's, especially in the beginning, it's just the perfect setup of what's happening with that the house and the camera push into seeing them getting married, mm-hmm. and then she she kisses Warren Beatty and then falls over. That's everything we need to know about what's going on. I know that she's marrying this guy. But she loves the other one because yeah. they're gonna do this little caper scam thing. I know, I know. It's yeah. set up so perfectly at yeah. the beginning where it's like that shot in particular. And then every shot up. after that, they do these 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 long yeah. every scene is just kind of like a one take setup, but it's so subtle. Yeah. It's not a flashy one take, not like Alejandro no. you know, Coran. No. It's not like Children of Men type shot where it's really trying to show you, wow, look how cool we are. No. It's just simple setups and you don't even you don't even think about it no you right? don't like I, I had to catch it because it's just analytically in my mind yeah how i watch films it's probably different but I, you know i even i had to catch it no but no you're right like because it, it is like relatively long there's yeah. no like shot reverse shot it's like okay walking to the train station you have them Dude. talking as they're walking yeah and then in the train in the train you have them moving from one car to the next car to talk yeah. in this little corner yeah and then you have them like over like sitting down and he's like oh you're sullen now you know yeah, and like yeah. and they have that conversation where he's like talking about his mom with tampons or some shit mm. um i will say though i didn't fully understand what was happening in the first half of the no, film no me neither me neither but in the second half i think does kind of i understood oh, okay like they're doing a scan they're gonna try to kill her now yeah that's the switch Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, I'm like, okay, they need a, they need a killer. But that, 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 and all that was great. I would have liked to have seen a movie of like that, yeah. the whole thing like that. But I think it was a little bit uneven with that kind of plot point. I didn't understand yeah. up until that point. But that's like my only criticism of it, I would say, really. With Yeah. I really enjoyed this movie all around. It's a fun movie. If you're a fan of either of these actors or just any like 70s comedy in general, I mean, it's two legends. It's yeah. two screen legends, Jack Nicholson and Warren Beatty. Just just on that is why we watched it. Yeah. And obviously, Mike Nichols, if you're a fan of directors, if you're a cineast, cinephile... Give it a, give it a watch. It's on Tubi. It's give great. it a whirl, guys. Yeah. And let us know down below what new Hollywood pictures you want us talking about next. Because we got a couple more bangers coming up from new Hollywood. So stay tuned after the commercial break, baby. You've been watching Disney Channel.